Yeah, I'm sure he did read them. Um, no, I did. I thought it was amazing work. So glad you could make it. If you've got a minute, let's go through my day. And don't forget to change my shrink appointment. Got it. Oh, um, I need you to manage another release for me. There's nothing scheduled for months. It's for the e-book of Waking Eyes. We're tying in the new edition. I thought that was coming out next fall. The spot opened up on Charlie Rose. So we're moving it up. Oh. I thought you'd be the perfect person for the job. What? Well, your father's Milan's agent, right? Yeah, but, um... They sent me the arcs. You got a list from publicity. Let's put our heads together. Alice. All right, look, I know it's not glamorous, but I'm putting my trust in you. Waking Eyes is a bestseller on our backlist. <laughs> all right, all right, look, what if, uh, what if I read that manuscript you've been hounding me about, hmm? You will? Yeah, what's the girl's name? Karen Malone. Yeah, Karen. Malone. Okay. It's the best thing that I've read since I've been here. I said I'd read it. Okay, but we have to hurry because there yes, might be some Alan interest. Mitchell, please. He's busy? Huh, well, fuck him. Uh, no, I don't want to leave a message. So you'll read the manuscript this week? Yes. Kidding? We would have sent someone. It's bet in person, isn't it? Congratulations. Finally something worth reading. Thank you. Come into my office. It's been far too long. Hey, where'd you go? I'm coming, I'm coming. Alice, where's my lunch? I have, uh, Chez Louis, 1 p.m. If I'd known you were gonna drop by. So, but, but maybe I could have lunch with Alice. I, I really need... You could toss around some marketing I, ideas. You know what? Um... She'd love to. Ah. Well, good morning. This is this a new jacket copy? Yeah. Great. I thought Can maybe... you get Harold Blake for me? Did you get a chance to read Karen's manuscript? Uh -huh. Not yet. The Fisher book's exploding. But you will this week. As soon as I get a free moment. Now, Milan did an interview with the press office. Can you see if he said anything we haven't heard before? This week. I'm sorry? This week. Oh, yes, of course. I really need to talk to Harold. Anything we can use? Nothing that we haven't heard before. Get me Susan at Simon & Schuster. Still waiting on that updated guest list. I'm working on it. You could have told me that you read it. That you liked it. That we're publishing it. You are? I thought Daddy would have spread the word. Well, who are you assigning it to? I'm editing it myself. It's not your kind of book. I found her. I found well, Alice, that's your job. You called the good stuff. I decide if it's good enough. Yeah, but listen, so, I now, have some great now, ideas. Now, listen, there's no way I'm going to let an inexperienced editor work with an inexperienced I've writer. I've worked here for two years. And how many books have you edited? It, my point exactly. I will CC in my notes. You can come to me with your thoughts anytime you like. Now, listen, Milan is expecting you at the taping tomorrow. The new novel is almost unreadable. Make sure he sticks to waking eyes, okay? You're the best. Gentlemen, how are we? Where's Alice? I haven't seen her yet. Sadie! Where the hell is Alice? She had something better to do. What? Wait, who are you? Her best friend. Are you ready to read, Mr. Donegar? I am. Want you sweat? 